Now this just might be the modern picture of you. Friends posing for group selfies. Gosh. That's hilarious. And that's just one way they've bonded. The backdrop for all those photos has become a home away from homeschool. Five, six, seven, eight. So this leg is going to spin around. The body twists. So much has turned around since many of them began cheerleading, including the coach's daughter, Addison Wilson. Five, seven. I think it's helped me grow as a person. I mean, I've become more outgoing. So you should be round offing this way, this way. Six years ago, coach Lindy Wilson encouraged girls to take a leap of faith. <laughs> Beautiful. She started homeschool Charlotte Cheer, a squad that practices at Illumination Training Center in Stalin. Nice. There was a need for a homeschool cheer team. Uh, homeschoolers are not always allowed to participate in public school sports. Lauren Smith didn't exactly jump at the chance. Actually, my mom found out about it, and I did not want to do it in the beginning because I was really nervous, and I was a very shy person as a kid. You can mark your toe touch. Five, seven, one, three, five, the majority of our homeschoolers that joined our team had no cheer, dance, or tumbling experience when they started. With time, they tapped into the spirit of camaraderie and competition. And I ended up loving it, and I did not want to stop it. Our team has won nationals in their division the past two years in a row, so they have gotten significantly better since our first year. Addison says the sport's been like a compass, pointing her to a place she can excel. I wanted to find my sport. I've tried gymnastics and dance and they just weren't my thing. So I wanted to do cheerleading. Building a winning culture takes teamwork, not just among the teens. It also takes a community collaboration to pull it off. Many homeschoolers come from single income families. So coach Wilson does her best to make the team as affordable as possible. Everyone volunteers their time. We use this gym here, which is also owned by a homeschool family, and they graciously let us use their space so that we can um, offer this at cost. And now, let's make some noise for Sherman Homeschool Cheer. Their success led to this audition video and something to be thankful for this November. The Lady Panthers have been selected to be part of the Spirit of America Productions Group that opens for Santa in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. So it's a really big deal. I think this is an opportunity of a lifetime, and it's just incredible to be able to be in the parade. In between the stunts and tumbles, they often land in front of a phone. Get in the half face. Oh, sure, there's no I in team, but there are iPhones. <laughs> I don't know if it worked. In Union County, John Lee, Queen City News.